Welcome, everybody, to Decked Out. Today, we're playing with a girl named Ron and Miss Eldritch. Each player has brought their signature deck to the table. And if you're interested in checking out those deck lists, you can find them down below in the description of the video. And when you're ready to design your own signature deck, you can head to our sponsor, edhrec.com, where you can find all the synergies to fit your budget and play style. And once you've done that, you can head over to our sponsor, coolstuffinc.com, where you can pick up all the singles that you'll need for your own signature deck. And don't forget to use code DGEN at checkout for 5% off of your order. Now that you've got your signature deck, you're going to need some accessories, sleeves, and deck boxes, and there's no better place to pick those up than Dragon Shield. We have links down below for both NA and EU. If you use those links to purchase your supplies, you'll be directly supporting our show and helping us fly out a bunch of fantastic guests. And lastly, if you'd like to help support us more directly, you can sign up for our Patreon. We have links down below where you guys can submit deck lists, actually play spell table games with the cast and crew, and get signed tokens from all of us and our guests. All right, well, I think it's time to meet the players. Hi, I'm a girl named Ron. Everywhere usernames exist. I stream EDH games on Switch and deck teching and some unboxings as well. And today I am playing Traxos, Scourge of Krug, and he is a colorless commander. This is my pet deck. Uh, when I started playing EDH, I wanted to build a colorless commander so I wasn't associated with a color identity, and Traxos was the best option. So I'm really excited to see him make a comeback in Brothers War, and I hope you love this deck. Hi, I'm Miss Eldritch. I'm an EDH streamer, magic content creator, and podcaster. Today, I'm playing Joda, Archmage Eternal. This deck is full of Eldrazi's, uh, and sort of the whole point is to be able to get the giant Eldrazi Titans out onto the board quicker than usual, so he reduces all their costs and um, lets me get them on the board quickly. Hi, I'm Veggie Wagon. Today, I'm going to be playing Kaineo and Tiro of Melodius. Um, this deck is full of cards that make your opponents approach the game differently. Maybe everybody has flash. Maybe your mana pool is still empty. Or maybe we just switch some people's permanents around. But I know I'm going to have fun, and I think everybody else will too. Hello everybody, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and today we are playing Tesa, Orzhov Scion. This is one of my favorite commanders, it's sort of my pet deck. In fact, it's the first commander deck that I actually ever owned. I'm really excited to play it today because it's my viewer deck. As I play it, you'll notice that most of the cards are signed. These cards were sent to me by various viewers from my Twitch channel, and we signed their name to the card and created the deck. So it's very, very meaningful, and I absolutely love it. All right, let's do it. Oh, that was pitiful. <laughs> that was All right. Oh, uh, <laughs> veggie's going first. Cheating. All right, you know how this works. Let's get right into it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't doubt him. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna draw. You're gonna play an island. I would have passed my turn. I'll draw. I'll play a waste, and I'll tap it to play a Basilisk Collar, which is an equipment. It uh, gives a creature a death touch and lifelink. There's nothing to equip it to at the moment, so it'll just hang out here and pass. Mm -hmm. All right. I will draw a Cinder Glade tapped and pass. All right. Some, some reasonably fair magic going on. Uh, I'm going to play a Marsh Flats and just go ahead and pay the life, and I'm going to get a Plains. So easy. We love it when it's waiting for you. I know, it's great. Wait, <laughs> I have a play. Mother of Runes. Hey, Mother of Runes is a 1-1 one, one for 1. Tap, target creature you control gains protection from another color. And I'll pass the turn. Mm, that's a, such a nice such a good card. It's beautiful. I'm going to play another island. I'm going to tap both of those four. And <gasps> is it signet? <laughs> pass. <laughs> I have one tap, draw a card, another waste as a land for turn, and I will tap two for a Howling Mine. At the beginning of each player's draw step, if Howling Mine is untapped, that player draws an additional card. And I'll pass Thanks, the turn. Brian. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I Just shall... friends here. Thanks. Shall untap, I will draw a card, and thanks to Howling Mine, I will draw a second card. Play a Cascading Cataract. So this is an indestructible land. I can tap it for colorless mana. Um, I can pay five for five mana in any combination if I want to. 
And then I'm going to tap two and I'm going to play an arcane signet. So this will tap for any color in my commander's color identity. And pass. Look at all those signets. All right, let's untap. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play a vault of the archangel and I will call your arcane signet with my own arcane signet. I'm oh, signetless. I actually get to draw one more card for, yes, the, for the thing one. as well. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna go to combat. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just attack across uh, to Miss Eldris here. I thought we were friends. I, you were right in front of me. I couldn't help it. That's true. I'll pass the turn. Good choice. Totally fair. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to untap. I'm not going to say anything. Draw. Uh, and draw again. Oh, who built this? <laughs> <laughs> to Arcane Signet. Yay! Then I'll play a Ghoul Turf. It's my land for the turn, which will return the island. Yeah, let's at least get some stuff going. I'll tap one, two, four, a... Capricopian with X is one. Uh, it'll enter the battlefield with one plus one plus one counter. You can pay two to put a counter on it and then reselect which player it is attacking. Um, only the player that Capricopian is attacking may activate this ability and only during the declare attacker step. I can swing at somebody, but they can pump it up and send it somewhere else. Oh, yeah. does it keep the counter? So it just keeps. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I need a lot of mana. That's oh. fun. That's a fun card. Right. That's There's my so plus one plus one counter. Can we send yeah. it back to you? No. <laughs> yes. That sounds like a yes. It's a good question. Fantastic. No, you can't actually send it back. Rude. Actually, can't. Not me. Just like saying that. I'll pass me. Someone in the comments, like, vetoing this. Like, right, yeah. Actually. <laughs> um, I will untap, draw for turn, draw my second card for turn. I can promise you that as a colorless deck, there is no arcane signet in here. Um, sorry to be the disappointment of the table. Fingers crossed for a soul ring, though. Um, I'm going to play a wasteland as my land for turn. And then I will tap three for a Foundry Inspector. Artifact spells I cast cause one less, to, one less to cast. And I will pass. Excellent. All right, I will draw, and then I will draw a second card. I'm going to play an island, and then I'm going to tap one, two, and three. Play a Ruination Guide. So this is a 3-2 with Devoid, so it's um, technically colorless, and it has Ingest. So when it um, deals combat damage, that player exiles the top card of their library, and then other colorless creatures I control get plus, it is plus one, plus zero. All right. And I will pass. Cool. I still get to draw two, correct? Correct. Excellent. I'm going to have to discard eventually if I'm not careful. So I'm going to go ahead and play a Prismatic Vista. I'm going to tap, pay one life, sacrifice it, and search my library for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield. Doesn't even have to be um, tapped. With my four mana, I'm gonna go ahead and tap four, and I'm gonna play a Retreat to Ameria. This has landfall, I can, whenever I land enters the battlefield under my control, I can create a one one core ally, or I can give creatures plus one plus one until end of turn. And no, oh, you have, everybody has creatures. I'm sorry, Mother of Runes, you must stay home. Pass the turn. Tap. Draw one. Draw two. Don't be looking at my board. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's, it's in a good way. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, what a board. Yeah, you're <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, I'm just gonna Kodama's Reach. Search for two basic lands, put one in uh, to the battlefield, one in my hand planes onto the board, and uh, and this forest will go into my hand. Play the forest that I grab as my land for the turn. I still have three mana. Jeez. That's so many. That is so many. So many. <laughs> you know what, first, let's go to combat. Nobody has mana open to redirect this, so I'll send one to you, nerd girl. Uh, so if I'm, I'm reading this right, I can block and give it self-protection from green. So, I'm... Um, <laughs> oh, yes, this is fine. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh is right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to get whatever nonsense out of your hand eventually anyway, so let's just go ahead and block, and I'll attempt to give it protection from green. 
Okay, uh, damage? Sure. What oh. am I missing? Uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> This is, this is dead. <laughs> I thought for sure Veggie had a trick up his sleeve and I was willing to trade my creature for that trick, but I guess he was just being Veggie. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I committed to the attack and was like, oh right, I should read what's on the board first. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, lie? Yes. <laughs> I'll finish my turn by playing Chaos Wand and pass. What does Chaos Wand do? I, right, that's how this show works. Um, <laughs> I can pay four and tap it. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card. I can cast that card for free, and then the rest of those cards get put uh, onto the bottom of that player's library. And I'll pass. I will untap. Be great I will draw my first card for turn, and then I will draw my second card for turn. So I'm going to pay three because artifact co costs one less to cast for a Sisei's Ring. Um, which adds two mana, and I will use that two mana to cast a Strixhaven Stadium. So Strixhaven Stadium adds one mana, and every time I use it to add a mana, it puts a point counter on it. Uh, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage, um, I put another uh, counter on it. Uh, whenever a creature is deals me combat damage, I remove a counter. Um, however, if it has 10 counters on it and I attack someone, um, I can remove all those counters and that player loses the game. So, so we, we gotta be we gotta be friends and be <laughs> like, hey, can you just remove those counters? And <laughs> if I get if I get to ten, gotcha. But, yeah. <laughs> I've never even thought of that use for that because I was like, oh, you're just gonna be trying to attack and make somebody lose, but you could like make a deal with somebody like, let me hit with you hit you with a bunch of stuff so I can just make that player lose. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's See, mean. You gotta work the table. All right, I shall untap, and I will draw one and two. Forest for turn, and then I'm also going to, I'm going to play one of my favorite cards in this deck, so I'm actually going to tap five. Um, I'm going to play a Barrage Tyrant, and I love this card in particular because it's got Neldrazi with like a little baby version of himself <laughs> in his hand, it's going to yeet across the field. Um, it is a 5-3 that has Devoid, and then I can pay two and a red, sacrifice another colorless creature, and Barrage Tyrant. Deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature power to target, creature, or player. Equal parts terrifying and adorable. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, exactly. Um, hmm, guess who has no blockers? Me. Mm, <laughs> yes. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> um, I oh, think Veggie. Veggie. Veggie has no blockers. Veggie, it's true. And he's also at 40 life. And he was yeah. also going to try to send us the, 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 green, the green thing. The green monster. Um, I shall send the Ruination Guide over to Veggie. Nice. Hmm. It's going to nom nom on the top of your library, so you got to exile the top card. Okay. Uh, Please and thank you. All right, so... It just goes away. Yeah. It's a Boro Signet. Bye. And pass. All right. No Let's Signet see. for you. I'm still drawing two, I think. Mm -hmm. One and two. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and play the Goldmire Bridge. Comes into play tapped, triggering my retreat. I don't have an ally token, so we're going to go ahead and just use a 1-1 a one -one human here. Who even farms in a vest? I'm gonna go ahead and just pay four, one white included, and we're gonna just also get a smothering dive onto the board. As it turns out, Howling Mine is the perfect card when you've got smothering tithe. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my mother of runes untapped and say go. Let's see what's happening. See if I can do draw a card. Would you like to pay two? And you get to draw I'll another one. Two. Yeah. So would you like to pay four? There's <laughs> <laughs> treasure. Just let it happen, Veggie. Just let it happen. <laughs> Veggie's gonna tap out <laughs> just to spite you and play nothing. Be like, pass turn. <laughs> hey, that's a win too. Yeah. I'll take that. I'm not paying it. Woohoo! Let's go! And Treasure! I'm very happy with this deck because every card in my hand, I'm like, I can't wait to play this. I'm gonna play this island. Oh my god, feels so good. Um, <laughs> Oh, if, if it's going to be this way and the Howling Mine is out, I'm going to start with one, two, three, and four to play Clever Impersonator. I can have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any non-land permanent. OK. 
okay. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna make it a copy of the smothering tide. Okay. Yeah. You can have some treasures. Seems right. Feels good inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap two for uh, Simic Signet, and then I'm gonna tap one, two, three. For Noble Benefactor. Oh, I love the card. This right? is my favorite card in Queen. Oh, I love that card. So, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, when yes. it is put into a graveyard from play, each player may search their library for any card and put it into their hand. It's a tutor when it dies. For Ooh. everybody. For everyone. everyone, yeah. Oh my god. It's oh. so great. I love that card. It's my favorite card in, in Group Hug. These are some, these are some scary things happening. <laughs> I'll pass my turn. Okie dokie. I will untap. I will draw my first card for a turn, and then I will draw my second card for a turn. Do I you pay the four? Do not. I need my mana. All right, so we're going to go up to four. Oh. I'm going to pay three to cast Traxos, uh, which enters tapped. Um, and because I use the Strixhaven Stadium, I'm going to put a counter on it. Um, I will play my Codex Shredder for free to untap Traxos. And then I will pay two to equip the Basilisk Collar to Traxos. Um, so Traxos is a 7-7 with Trample. He enters the battlefield tap and doesn't untap unless I play a historic spell, which is Artifacts, Legendaries, and Sagas. Um, that's why he untapped when the Codex Shredder came in. Uh, wait, is that how Traxos works? But just in case I'm unable to untap Traxos, I'm going to pay one for a Voltaic Servant, Ooh. which will allow me to, at the end of my end step, untap target artifact. Yeah. I'm going to pass the choice. Well, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Traxos mm -hmm. is beautiful, but Thank you. just a little concerned. I will untap, I will draw, and draw again. Do we get treasures? Yes, you may have Ooh. all of your treasures. All the treasures. All the treasures. <laughs> so many treasures. I my taxes. <coughs> um, I will play Cavern of Souls. Um, so when it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type, which shall be Eldrazi. Um, I can tap for your colorless or um, tap for one mana of any color, uh, only for the chosen type to cast a creature. And then five and six, I'm going to play, I'm gonna move these over, I'm gonna play a Drowner of Hope. So this is a five five. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put two one one colorless Eldrazi Scion token creatures onto the battlefield. Um, and I can sacrifice them and use them for mana. And then I can sacrifice a Scion and tap target creature. Hmm, I'm kind of liking the idea of that tutor over there. So I'm going to send uh, the Rumination Guide to, let's see, I'm going to send the Rumination Guide to Nerd Girl, and I'm going to send the Barrage Tyrant to Veggie. And that's the one that eats top of my deck? Yes, this one eats. Okay, I enough. will declare no blocks and allow it to eat the top of my deck. I'm definitely blocking. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to... Exile my planes, and I'll take four. No, a benefactor dies. Everybody, Ooh. tutor. Yes. 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 I feel like the Oprah moment. Like, yes, <laughs> you get a card. You get a card. Yeah. I don't know what I'm even tutoring for, but like, I'm yeah. so excited to be doing it. Yep. I grab the commander's plate, which is gonna buff Traxos and give me protection, and I hope to swing out with it on top Traxos and be able to block with it too. So I picked Defense of the Heart. This is an easy way for me to grab two creatures and put them right onto the board. Um, that means two free Eldrazi Titans, so that's my choice. I search for Evangel of Heliod. This is gonna make me seven angels when it comes into play, and they're flying and vigilant. I grabbed Amanatu's Augury. This is one of my all-time favorite cards. Why just tutor for one card when I can get a whole bunch of them for free? Boom, got mine. Okay. Yes, and I will pass. It's untapped. Do I still get to draw two? Yes. Uh, I'll give you some tokens, Veggie. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you some tokens. That seems fine. Gosh, I wanted. I just want to go big. I want to go big so bad. But if I get got, I get. I'm so sad. I mean, it's one card. I'll be so sad if I get got. But I think, I think I'm just gonna do it. Five, 
for a divine visitation. Uh, divine visitation says if one or more creature tokens would enter the battlefield, you may have them come into play as 4-4 four, four angels instead. So I'm going to play a land triggering the retreat, which gives me an ally, but instead I will replace that with an angel. And then I'm going to go ahead and sack all but one treasure, and I will play the Evangel of Heliod, which says I get 1-1 one, one white soldier tokens for my devotion to white. Six angel tokens. Seven, right? Oh, so I go to eight angel tokens. Everything's fine. Yeah, and then I will pass my turn. Good thing I grabbed that board wipe. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, see, that's the thing that I've learned, is if you give everybody a tutor, they're going to get something they, they want to do, not something they want to do to, like... Like, board, board wipes are boring. Like, they're necessary, but they're boring. Nobody tutors for that unless it's like, unless oh, I'm going to lose the game if I don't mm -hmm. board wipe. I will draw two if I need to. Do I get treasures? Yeah. I get more? You get more. Woohoo! One, two. Oh, no. <laughs> leave, leave. Uh, let me just pick up all of these. Let me, I gotta make... Leave my angels alone, Veggie. <laughs> oh, they should they should be fine, but we'll find out. Oh no! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for Amanatu's augury. I love this card. <laughs> Exile. Amanamanamanam. Amanamanam the Nagoni. <laughs> Exile the top eight cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield until end of turn. For each non-land card type, you may cast a card of that type from among the exile cards for free. Okay, that's scary. Mm -hmm. Here's my eight cards. We'll just put them out here. Yeah. So from all of these, I'll get to cast one of each card type. Cast, uh, not play, so no lands. Uh, I, and, but it, land. it includes an extra clause that you can put a land in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have only got one artifact, so that'll be the Azorius. Does that work if you've already played a land? Uh, yes. I'll take the Prairie Stream, because I do have uh, two basic lands, so we'll just leave these exiled. Enchantment. That's a tough one. I have to pick between Puka's Mischief, which allows me to exchange control of permanence uh, on each of my upkeeps, or Upwelling, uh, where mana pools don't empty. I think we're going to go with the Puka's Mischief, because I think the Upwelling is going to help the two colorless players a lot more than uh, oh. than I would want. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah? Yeah. I no? Know. No, it's fine. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the, the Eldrazi are, like, notoriously uh, low-costed creatures. Whatever, so. if you're scared, yeah. it's fine. I understand. It's cool. Totally cool. <laughs> See, I hear that sound. <laughs> <laughs> These are, the way that uh, the Amanatsu's Augury is worded, I have until end of turn to cast these. So I'm going to hang on to these for the moment. Let's put them down here. Uh, and do some other stuff that will hopefully give me a, a better reason to do that, because I still have a ton of mana. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Who's going to have a cool instant or sorcery? I'm going to tap one, two, three, and use a treasure for four. Use Chaos Wand. Miss Eldritch, we're going to target you. I want to see what's in there. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? What, so you will... Exile from the top of your library until you hit an instant or sorcery card, and I will get to pay. I will get to play that for free. Okay. All right. Oh, I do not like you very much. Oh. War room. Oh. And, uh, skulker. Oh my! That's a, another creature. Land. Artifact. Another land. Ulamog. Land. I will have to shuffle these in. Creature. Veggie. What have you done? And they're exiled. Veggie. They just get exiled. No, they they will go oh, back okay. to the bottom of your library. I was like, like, oh no, please, no, 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 no. Get milled out. You're just done. <laughs> All right. It was stinging game. study. You draw X cards and you lose X life. For X is the mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. Okay. So your how much is your commander worth? Four. That's not bad. That's not bad. Draw four and lose four. Yes. Right. Okay. My very favorite noodles were going to go away. I would never. <laughs> I haven't played land for the turn, so I'm going to play forest, because the only one I had was the one off of the uh, augury. 
I do think I'm going to play the Myogen for free. It's just the 3-3 because I needed to cast it for my hand to, for it to get the indestructible counter and to use the ability. Oh, are you going to pay treasures for your four cards that you drew? Oh. Or do I get four more treasures? Uh, no, because then I just have to sack my treasures, so you can take them. Great. Thanks, Veggie. <laughs> we are great friends. Great, thanks. We are gr great friends. See, I, hear, I feel like I hear that every game and then I die. And um, you haven't learned your lesson. Never. <laughs> it's my brand, is weird cards and not learning my lesson. <laughs> I think this will put a target on my back, but I want to do it anyway. Um, one, and I'm going to use two treasures uh, for Eternal Witness. I'm just going to return this Amanatsu's Augury to my hand. Okay, we got to kill him. Not the noble benefactor. <laughs> he deserves to live. <laughs> to die again. To die again. <laughs> so we can all have so much fun. Right. <laughs> uh, I think finally that is the end of my turn. I will need to discard uh, some stuff. Um, I will discard... The augury. Good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frenzied Fugue, which is a lot of fun. Uh, lets me steal stuff. Genesis Chamber, because that would be a real problem with your Divine Visitation on the board. All right. I will untap. Okay. I'll draw my first card for turn. And then I will draw my second. Treasures? No. No treasures? No, I won't. I'm not paying. <laughs> no treasures. Treasures. Um, all right. I will play an Inventor's Fair as my land for turn. At the beginning of my upkeep, if I control three or more artifacts, I gain one life. It adds one mana, one colorless mana to my mana pool, and I can sack it to search my library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it in my hand, and shuffle um, if I control three or more artifacts. I'm going to use Strixhaven Stadium to cast a Mind Stone uh, for one, and I will uptick the stadium. I'm going to play a Commander's Plate for free off of the Foundry Inspector. I'm going to use Mind Stone and Sisse's Ring to equip it for three. Uh, what Commander's Plate will do to Traxos now is it gives it a plus three, plus three, and gives him protection from each color that's not in my Commander's color identity. So that would make him protection from all colors because he's colorless. Lovely! That Commander damage is going to add up fast. Um, so funny you should say that. Eight um, I'm going to pay two to cast Fire Shrieker which will give Traxos double strike when equipped. It costs two to equip, and look at that. I happen to have two open mana. So I'm going to pay two to equip the Fire Shrieker. 10-10 commander with double strike, trample, death touch, and lifelink, and protection from all colors. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> um, so he will do 20 damage to someone <laughs> Is immediately. That... Hold on to your hats. Um, I am going to combat. For the first time. Everybody's like, not me, please not me, please not me, please um, not me. I am going to... I have an opportunity to deal some heavy commander damage to one player and one player only. Miss Eldritch can block me because she has colorless creatures. And I'm worried that Nerd Girl will retaliate with the eight angels. So it's going to have to be Veggie. Swing at Veggie. <laughs> well, I can't block it. You cannot. You sure can't. Yeah, I'm going to take 20. 20 commander damage, so I will uptick the Strixhaven Stadium, and because it has lifelink, I will gain 20. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Excellent. Um, yep, that's fine. Yeah, we're scared. Let me take my 20 casually. I thought... That's I was funny. doing well, but now I am now not 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 sure. <laughs> I'm going to move to end step, and with my Voltaic Servant, I will untap Traxos. Okay, and Same. then I will pass the turn. Single target removal, one time. Hmm. All right. Okay, so I will untap, cry a little bit. And You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I'm gonna draw two cards with the Howling Mine. Theaters. Treasures? Please take all the treasures. <laughs> Fantastic. Please have them. We're going to need them. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to play a Corrupted Crossroads. Um, I can add a colorless or pay one life and add one mana of any color um, and only use it to cast a spell with Devoid. 
I will then pay one, two, so I will use these both for black. I will take a life that will do one, two, three, and four. I will attempt to cast a Grip of Desolation. So this will exile target creature and target land, and it has Devoid, so it is colorless. Oh. So I'm going to attempt to exile Traxos. Oh no, someone's trying to remove Traxos, and all my mana's tapped out? Good thing I have a cost-free solution to that. Um, I'm going to counter it with Not of This World. No. Wait. Okay. Oh. So can you tell me what that does, and I might have a thing. Sure. Counter target spell or ability that targets a creature you control with power seven or greater. Give me a moment to think. I, I need to just think if this if this works. I have Chef's Kiss in my hand, but I don't know how that works if I target one of these spells. I think I can figure it out, but if I can't, I'm probably just not gonna do anything. <laughs> Please. Ben's Try. trying really hard to figure out if he can help make this resolve because he's going to die next turn. I, <laughs> this, is, this is exactly what's happening. I, is that sad? I don't think it works. So I can't, I, it would have been very interesting. If I don't know, I, I don't know how sad I have to be. <laughs> I, Does it resolve? Rough life. I have no response to it. Boo. Seems great to me. All right. So we agree that this is by far the biggest problem on the board. Does anybody have uh, instant speed removal? I know we can't target this right now, but maybe we could. We can't? Currently? It has protection from all colors. Oh, I do not. But you can also try to find it in my deck. Um. And I, I have other, I have one other wrath I can try to find. Not in my hand. I mean. Okay, but, but nobody, so nobody has it in their hand. Not right no. now. Okay, okay. I, I'm not doing anything currently. Suppose I could just go ahead and swing and get some damage through, but that's not going to do a ton, but it might help with the stadium. So I will go ahead and I will swing the barrage tyrant and I'm just gonna swing everything except my scions. So that. What is the largest? Um, I have two sixes coming at you. Um, so it's four, six, and six. I'll block one, and um, it has death touch, and uh, obviously it's a 7-7 seven, seven naturally, so it will die. And then how much is the rest? 10 total? Um, yes. <clears throat> okay, Barrage Tyrant will go to the graveyard. Okay, so I'll, I'll gain how much? Six. And then I will take 10? Mm -hmm. And uh, that clearly didn't work. It's fine. I'll do my, my, my best, but I, I'm worried that if I commit to trying to help, then any pump spell means she'll kill me because I'm the scariest one on the board. So is it my oh, turn? I did just try to take out Traxa, so hopefully she'll be distracted for a moment. Trying to take out the person <laughs> trying to kill her precious okay. angel. Not go? my yes, baby. No go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing two. Maybe oh. we can find was... single target removal here. Oh, oh, we did. We did find single target removal. Yeah. Hang on, let me yes. let me count my mana yeah. here. I want to do a lot colorless. of things. Oh, oh yeah, because that's a, no no. Oh, it's not colorless. I will have a thing to help with that as long as it is instant speaks. I can't do my thing until my turn. I think I can take a big chunk out of Ron's life total without seeming like a threat. But now I have to decide if I want to make a ton of angels and become the massive threat. If I don't, I won't be able to end the game next turn. But if I do and I survive, it might all be over. 18, 10, 15, 16. Okay, we can do all of it. Oh my goodness, this is going to be great. Yes. So I'm going to start by playing my land. I'm going to make an angel, and it's going to be great. And then I'm going to pay five for an Eldrazi monument. All my creatures get plus one, plus one, flying and indestructible. Beginning of my upkeep, I sacrifice a creature, and then nothing happens. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and get rid of eight treasures, leaving me with exactly three treasures. And I'm gonna cast Storm Herd, uh, which gives me 34, four, four angels. So this will go up to 35 angels. So Veggie and I go to the loser's table. I see, I see. Yeah, this well, is, that's, that's... The drinks are at the loser's table, yeah. oh, right? So excellent, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go to combat. But everything's flying, you have no flying, right? I don't, no. So we're gonna attack for 40 damage in the air, because they get plus one, plus one, right? 42 damage in the air. Okay. All right, so we'll go to 18. Yeah. And that'll be my turn, because I have done enough. <laughs> 
So I will untap. Uh, Veggie, if I can politic with you. First please. of all, I wouldn't waste all of... I only need to hit you for one right. commander damage. Right. I wouldn't waste an entire attack on you when I could send all of this damage elsewhere. Um, there's a new problem on the board. I agree. You could do away with me, but will you deal with all of those angels? I mean, yes, but w- what solution are you offering me? I can take care of that for you. <laughs> she can kill me in one shot, I think, is the problem. Okay. Which is okay. the sads. <laughs> you have enough, I think, just to kill, at Everyone. the very least, Everyone? probably Everyone. everybody, but it definitely is both of us, and you will have to choose who you're killing, so I think I have a better shot there. But we're gonna start at my upkeep. Puka's Mischief activates. I can exchange control of target non-land permanent I control oh. and target non-land permanent an opponent controls with an equal or lesser converted mana cost. Mana value. Oh, can um, I get treasures? Yeah. Nice. My gen of cryptic dreams cost eight. So I can kind of take whatever I want that I'm still able to target. You can take an angel. Yeah? That's, that's, that's so generous. Little you. Token? Um, I have to take, uh, I have to take a creature at the moment though, if I'm using the Myogen. And I can't target Traxxas. Um, Mess around and find out, Veggie. What do I want to happen? So I'm going to target uh, Strixhaven Stadium mm-hmm. and give you Chaos Wand. But before I do it, might as well use it. It didn't go so well last time when I targeted you. So. I mean, I got your card draw. That's not nothing. You did. Yeah, but you I, did. But I understand. But yeah. you want something juicier. Yeah. And I threw all your good stuff on the bottom of your library. I know. I know. You took all my creatures. I have a fair amount of noodles. and sorceries. Yeah. Let's Maybe. see what you got. All right. Let's do it. Let's start with a Swamp, a Thrall, a Hoplite, Legion's Landing, Dusk Apostle, oh, Deadly Dispute. Uh, all Sorry. Right. Hey, well, you know, it's fine. We'll take it. Um, so I can sacrifice... Um, you can sacrifice uh, an artifact or a creature. And you get to draw two cards and create a treasure. I'll sacrifice a treasure and draw two cards and make a treasure. Yeah, okay. And then we exchange... Do I get to make more treasures? I haven't drawn yet. You just drew two. I just drew two. Yeah, you can make it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to my draw. I'll still draw two. You can take I'll some... make some treasures. Yeah, because hopefully you're dead by the time he's <laughs> Um I'm super dead. <laughs> I'll say that's either the, like, I have something in my hand face, or I'm absolutely dead face. <laughs> You'll never know. That's true. Until I'm dead. <laughs> Don't give away the tells. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play one of my favorite cards. Four, four. Tidal Barracuda. The three, four. Any player may cast spells as though they had flash. Sweet. But my opponents can't cast spells on my turn. I think I just. I think I just chill. Right, let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll need to discard. Uh, I'll just get rid of this Simic Growth Chamber Reality Scramble since it has retrain, so I can just use it for something later. Let's see how this shakes out. All right. Mm-hmm. I will yeah, untap. On my upkeep, I will gain a life off of the Inventor's Fair. Um, I will draw my first card for turn, and I will draw my second card for turn. Are you paying any of the cost? No, I am not. Thank I'm you. making treasures. Yes. I'm going to play an Endless Sands as my land for turn. I'm going to pay two for an Angelic Armaments. Um, If equipped, it will give a creature plus two plus two and flying, and is an angel in addition to its other colors and types. I'm so dead. (laughs) That's That's also funny that you'll be dead to an angel. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tap four to equip the angelic armaments. So now Traxos is a 12-12 with trample, death touch, lifelink, double strike, and flying, um, and protection from all colors. Go ahead and uh, move to combat. And I will swing Traxos at Nerd Girl. Okay. I don't hold my breath. I'm gonna, I mean, I gotta dig for an answer, and I don't currently have one. So we're gonna go ahead and 
pay three mana to flash in a bygone bishop. Go to eight treasures, and this allows me to, um, whenever I cast a creature with mana value three or less, I investigate. Uh, I'll go ahead and use a couple more treasures. Uh, I'll play Knight of the White Orchid, which says if a creature, if a player has more lands than I do, I can go ahead and search my library for a planes and put that onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And Veggie definitely does. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to go up an angel and get to investigate from the bygone. I don't, I'm still dead because I, I can't imagine a single clue token off the top is going to find me an answer, but a girl can dream. All right. One time off the top. There's gonna... also white angels, by the way, so they're extra can't block. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, nothing. Uh, everything has color. Yeah, um, unfortunately. So I'm gonna sack two I more of that before I attack. I was like, I was like, who does? <laughs> two more to sack the clue, and I need a four drop answer. Oh no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. I am the sad. Veggie looks too happy. I feel like he's just gonna let me right. kill Nerd Girl and then like yeah. board wipe. I'm, I'm just gonna be so sad. <laughs> I just know that I have a handful of cards that make me very, very happy and I think will make me win. All right, I'm gonna use the last uh, three more of my treasures. What is his scariest thing over hey. here? Hey! You did this. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself, Veggie. Thing. I'm going to go ahead and just cast Mortify, destroy target uh, creature or enchantment. Unfortunately, not artifacts so I could block. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kill the uh, the mischief enchantment. All right, this will resolve and Goodbye. all of my angels will die heroically and I'm dead. I will gain 22 life. <laughs> um... I will go ahead and do Isn't that. Isn't that 24 because of 12 12 double striker? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Should 20 clean 24. Up the board. Sorry. Um, no, you just leave it. Okay, and then on my end step, I will use Voltaic Servant to untap Traxos. I should have just laid low, but this was too cool of a play. <laughs> it was. With, it was a very Because they're all play. indestructible, too, which yeah, is super cool. Of course. Yeah. yeah, the thing I had in my hand was also going to be very cool until someone had to start smacking people with. 12, 12 double strikers. <laughs> so really, I'm not even sorry about it. I know you're not. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to tap this and take a life for a white. I'm going to tap this for a green. And I'm going to play an Eladomri's Call. So I can search my library for a creature card, put it, reveal it, and put it in my hand, and then shuffle my library. Yeah. While you're doing that, I just want to check. Do I get some treasures from your card draws? Mm, mm. Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Treacherous. Just murder him first. You look really pretty today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. The card I am choosing will be Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Mm -hmm. So the 10 10, uh, when it comes in or when I cast it, uh, exile the top two, uh, exile two target permanents. Um, and he likes to numb them on all the decks, so he will eat things. So that will go into my hand. Um, and then I'm going to play, um, I'm going to tap this Arcane Signet for a black, play a Vampiric Tutor. And then here's my mysterious card that is going to go on top of my library. And then I think I'm going to pass, because the last time I tried to swing at Ron, that um, disastrously backfired. So I shall pass. Uh, it's your end step, since all players have flash. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then three treasures, six, seven, eight. Um, <laughs> in instant speed, I'm going to do Okay. Okay. <laughs> so my top eight. Eight. Land. Dual caster mage. Island. Uh, inevitable betrayal. I, I have the storm. Ian Frolicker. Um, another mountain. I'll get one more. This is maybe not going to be the most exciting. And I catch you to try them. I think we're fine with colors, so I'll just take the mountain. Um, so more, don't worry about those. Eye of the storm will be the enchantment. Um, when a player plays an instant or sorcery, remove it from the game, then that player copies each instant or sorcery card removed from the game with Eye of the Storm 
uh, for each copy. The pe- player may play the copy without paying its mana cost. This, I think this is kind of great. Uh, I'm going to cast this Inevitable Betrayal. Um, you can search target opponent's library for a creature card and put that card onto the battlefield under your control. Uh, Eye of the Storm is going to exile it, and then I just, and then I copy it and make one. With that on the stack, I'm going to dual caster mage as my creature, so Aeon Frolicker won't happen. So I'll get a copy of Inevitable Betrayal. So I guess I have to pick the targets, but I have a feeling that... Oh, you've got a buffet in my deck. <laughs> Time to eat. Do you want to look? Yes, please. All right, yes. Have Both targeting it. you. Excellent. Not going to lie, I'm kind of glad I'm dead. <laughs> Thank you. That's You're welcome. There's some good stuff tasty? in there. Right? Some tasty. Nuts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so for the first inevitable betrayal, uh, I'm going to play... Ool among the Infinite yes. Gyre. <laughs> yeah. As yeah. one would. You know, uh, I'm not casting it, so I don't get to destroy target permanent, but it is still a 10-10 indestructible annihilator 4. Um, and then it'll at least go back into your library if it goes to the graveyard. Um, I figured also, needs a friend. Yeah. Here's Kozilek, mm-hmm. Butcher of Truth, 12-12. Uh, uh, I'm not casting it, so I don't draw four cards, but it does have annihilator 4. Yeah, uh, that's the resolution of the Amanatsu's Augury. You're going to kill me with my own Eldrazi, aren't you? Veggie. Veggie. Uh, yes? Veggie. What? I hate that. I'm sorry. I know. Um, I'm also going to uh, pay one, two, three, four for Minx and Boo. Fun. So that'll come in with three loyalty when it enters the battlefield at the beginning of my, uh, or at the beginning of my keep, I create Boo. 1-1 one, one with Trample and Haste. Uh, the plus one is put three counters on uh, on a creature with Trample or Haste, and the minus two is sacrifice a creature, um, d- deal X damage to any target where X is the creature's power, and then if it was a hamster, I draw many cards. Ta-da! Yeah, that's Ta-da. in a ball. <laughs> uh, and finally, I will use the rest of my treasures for Blade Griff Prototype. Uh, It's a 3-2 flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, I destroy target non-land permanent of that player's uh, choice that one of your opponents controls. So I I hit somebody, and they get to pick something that's destroyed. They just can't pick mine. I guess I get to untap now. (laughs) Your whole little deck of land over there, God. Yeah. (laughs) See, at least I would have killed you painlessly. This is painful. It's fair. This is it's fair. Wonderful. I don't know what everybody's talking about. So proud of it. Look, it just it's the joy in Veggie's eyes that is all I need. <laughs> if killing me brings him joy, so be it. Live your life, vegetable wagon. <laughs> I'm gonna find some way to lose this. So it's okay. <laughs> um okay. Uh I don't have my upkeep trigger anymore, so I'm just gonna draw two cards. One, two. I'm going to uptick Minx and Boo. Four, uh, put three counters. I think my only target is Boo. Don't have anything else with Trample or Haste. So three counters. Yes. Now we go to combat. Ron, you've got some, you've got some gifts here for me. Mm-hmm. Um, or really from both of us. Say from both of us. Yeah. That's true. Um, Ulamog and Kozilek and Boo. And Blade Griff Prototype. Do what you that should be fine. Whatever. Yeah, just turn them sideways. You know? Yeah, swing out. Swing out. All right, so with the Annihilator. All right, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. You can sack lands as well. I know that that's not ideal, but if necessary. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm ready to sack them over this. Five, six. Seven. Eight. Um, I'll block like the Kozilek yeah. to kill it, because this is 12 anyway, even without the double strike. And then I'll take the remainder. What's the remainder? Well, that's your declared block? Yes. Oh. Okay, um, then, yeah, I 
will have that block, <laughs> but I'm going to use it. Use Strixhaven Stadium for one mana mm-hmm. to put a counter on it. Then all of the combat damage, good, good to go. Yeah, aside from the block, yeah. Yeah, so this will kill this first. Mm-hmm. Thank Thanks. you. Um, you'll gain you'll gain some life, uh, but just to expedite this, unless there's something you can do about it, you're gonna get hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, um, and on the seventh one, this will trigger, and you'll lose the game. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll put these first and then that one. Um, I'll Which kill a scion. Okay. Is that fair? That's fair. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, all That's of these fair. counters are gone. <laughs> it's like, I don't really want to. <laughs> uh, and I have flash, so I don't have to worry about doing anything right now. I will pass the turn. I will take my, my sad little turn. <laughs> And there's no howling mine, so I only draw one card. I do still have tithe. Do you pay two? How? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty cool that uh, you needed one of my cards to kill me. That's sweet. You know, if you can't build your own decks, I mean, I understand. I'll, I'm happy to lend you my cards oh. if you need them to kill me. I will. It's uh, fine. Look. look. Uh, I actually don't know how to build decks, so, <laughs> so after this, if you could give me a hand. Uh. Okay, so I see that Veggie has only 13 life, and basically I'm going to die if I can't squeak through more damage than what I have on board. I have an idea. All right, I think I have a spicy play, though. Okay. I might be able to, to handle this, despite you trying to turn my, my, my Eldrazi on back onto me, which is not very nice, by the way. You talk to them so, about it, okay? I mean, I think you, <laughs> they do what they you're in control, do. so have one. I'm going to play a soul ring, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the soul ring. I'm going to play swift foot boots. Now I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pay six to play a Conduit of Ruin. This is a 5-5. Five five. Uh, whenever I cast it, I may search my library for a colorless creature card with converted mana cost seven or greater. Reveal it, shuffle my library, put it on top. I'm going to skip that because it is a May. Okay. Uh, then the first creature I uh, first creature spell I cast each turn costs two less to cast. But the fun thing here is I'm going to use the Eldrazi Scion. I'm going to crack it and use it for one mana. I'm going to equip the Swiftfoot Boots underneath the Conduit of Ruin, giving it haste and hexproof. So I'll mm-hmm. do this. And then I'm going to swing and turn everything sideways at you. So you will have, um, this will be six, this will be six, this will be three coming at you. So 15. Total of 15, yes. Okay, and your Scion is dead? Correct. This is using for the mana, 15. so I will remove it from the board. Okay. It's 15 coming at your face. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Fingers pay... crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to pay three. I'm going to flash in Pramicon Sky Rampart. It's a 1-5 flying defender. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I choose, le- choose left or right. I'll choose left. Uh, each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the chosen direction. So it doesn't really matter, but it's a it's a it's blocker. A blocker. I'm I'm gonna, yeah. I tried. Yeah. I tried. I'm gonna use it to block your largest, which yes, is the conduit. conduit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll take eight. Almost there. It's the flash. It's the flash. Yes, you want to take eight. It was a spicy play. It was. It was yeah, yeah. Bad. It was almost there. Almost there. At the end of your turn, I'll also flash in uh, questing Feldegriff, uh, just to make sure that I've got. Oh, precious. Right. Mm-hmm. Got gotta get him on the board. Oh, baby. And then. I'm gonna untap. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And do untap I have. In Murder Beat. Yeah, yeah, yes. I have 37 on the board. Yeah, I think. 10, uh, uh, 14, okay. I'll draw. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing out. Um, you're gonna take 34 damage, and then uh, a- after that, I'm gonna activate Minx and Boo minus two to deal an additional four to you with Boo. And then, yeah. and then I die. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. Good uh, job. Yeah, this is this. I hope was a very satisfying game because we got to see kind of every I mean, every deck pop whatever. off, and e- even if it wasn't <laughs> under everybody's control. Right. I was just no. It was we good. saw one Titan somewhere on the board, so I'm satisfied. Veggie, you got your first win.
Um, it feels so good, and it feels like it's not ever going to happen again. <laughs> Hopefully, if I have anything to say about it. We'd like to give a special thank you to A Girl Named Ron and Miss Eldritch for joining us. If you guys would like to check out their decks, again, they're down below in the description. You can also find links to all of their socials. And, as always, a big thanks to our sponsors, EDH Rec, Cool Stuff Inc., and Dragon Shield. And don't forget to check out our Patreon, guys. If you would like to support us, you guys can play spell table games, submit deck lists, and get signed tokens from the cast and crew. Well, we'll see you next time on... Decked, Decked out. out.